Morning, everybody. Still morning, actually. Welcome back to Matthew's Reef, the beginner's guide to marine aquariums. My name is Matthew. Take a moment if you're new to the station or if you've watched a lot of videos and haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Also, check out my website. It should be right up here, matthewsreef.com. It's all about beginners. It's all about all the information you need in videos. It's all about product reviews and a simple build a tank setup where you can say, hey, I got this much money, what can I get? Or hey, I'm looking to build this type of tank, what can I do, you know? So head over, matthewsreef.com, it's gonna be right up here. Also, you can check out the description below. My hope is that it will become the number one place in the entire web, in the entire marine reefing sphere that beginners will go because it will be so helpful. Now, it's not there yet, I know that, so take a peek. Give me your feedback, that would be super helpful. Okay, so we got quite a bit to do in this video. Uh, first of all, there is no confirmed winner yet for the Amazon giveaway for the Meg float. Three people, I know, a whopping three people, only three people uh, put their name in. So if you are the winner, you need to check your email and claim that prize so it can be shipped out to you. I want to give uh, two shout outs to my last video, my giveaway video that only ran for a week. I had two people who made some really great constructive feedback, so I wanted to give them a shout out. First of all, Northern Reefer, thank you so much. I don't know if you have any videos yet, but I'll go ahead and put a link to Northern Reefer station down below. I really appreciate the time you spent heading over my website, giving me some constructive feedback, really good stuff overall. And the second one, also a shout out to Will Cook. I don't know if Will has any videos yet either, but I'll put a link to his station down below as well. Will, thank you so much for your feedback. It's people like you and Northern Reefer that, that are really positive about this hobby, that really make this fun and, and worthwhile. What we're doing today is my family is on the move and we're gonna be moving here real soon. So I am going to be breaking down my tank and getting ready for a move. So I'm gonna be getting rid of the livestock inside of it, and then I'm going to be rebuilding it at the new location. So I have a, what is it? I have a Fluval M60, so it's around 30 gallons, all right? And I've had these two clownfish for a long time, Lucille and Benny, and they're great, but they also seem to love to kill off all of my corals. Now, they don't try to kill it, but so many of the corals that are in there, they just keep touching it and want to rub against it, that they've killed them off. They finally, finally taken to the hammer coral that's beautiful in there, and the hammer coral seems to be okay with them doing it. But that being said, for ease of moving, I'm gonna sell everything off and keep the equipment, which is sad on one hand, but it's awesome in another hand because having those two clownfish has really limited my options. You know, clownfish are semi-aggressive, to begin with, so you have to be careful with other livestock options that you put in there, right? And I bought these two clownfish before I realized that they are not the correct kind of clownfish to pair with the kind of anemone I wanted, which was a rose bubble tip anemone. I am considering three new builds, and of course I'll track it all along, but I want, I want you guys to help me decide. Out of these three options, what should I build once I get to the new location? So. The first option is a clownfish anemone tank. Just go crazy with rose bubble tip anemones, fill it with rose bubble tip anemones, and get the correct clownfish that we'll want to pair with them. All right, that's option number one. If I do that, there aren't a lot of other things I'm gonna put in there. I'll probably put some, obviously some snails, maybe a few crab, things like that, but it's pretty much gonna be a rose bubble tip anemone dominated tank. So that's option number one. Option number two is to go crazy with LPS corals. Now, I don't know what it would mean um, for my fish or other livestock, but I love LPS corals. I love frog spawn, hammer corals, any sort of soft or large polyp stony coral. So I could just go crazy with LPS corals and then choose my other livestock options, my fish, my crab, to match that system. Third option, Ignore corals almost completely. Get corals as a second afterthought, a shrimp and crab heavy system. I, some, some, some of the best livestock I've had so far have been um, like cleaner shrimp. So what if I build a tank 
around those sorts of things, right? So, you know, what sorts of crabs could I have been in there? What sorts of varying kinds of shrimp? How many could I have been in there? What sorts of livestock would go well with the cleaner shrimp and other shrimp? Maybe I could get a pistol shrimp combo with a goby, you know, but to really build it around that. So the three options that I would love to hear your feedback, what would you like to see? And what do you think would be the most fun and most beautiful for me to do? Number one, anemone tank, all rose bubble tip anemones. Number two, almost completely large polyp stony corals. And number three, crab and shrimp tank. So leave a comment down below. Let me know which one of those three you think I should go with and maybe why I should go with those. And then when I make the move um, in about a month and a half, I can start that build and really just kind of see, see what goes from there. Keep checking back to the station, guys, because there's so much coming on. There's gonna be giveaways. There's gonna be the move and the brand new build. You know, I have the 10 part series on how to build your first marine aquarium. And I have the old series that, that, that's great, has a lot of good info, but I'm trying to up my, my, my editing game. So I've finished two of the new videos and I'm gonna be finishing the um, other eight in the series. I'm gonna be working on my website and making it the beginner's guide to marine aquariums so that it's, it's the number one stop. You know, there's gonna be so much happening. And with this move, there's gonna be some really cool field trips are gonna be going on, some trips. I have a, a Las Vegas plan already that I'm really excited about to share with you guys and to videotape when I go to Vegas. So anyway, subscribe below. You don't wanna miss out. Go ahead, visit matthewsreef.com. And thank you guys for watching. Happy reefing, everybody. Hey, one other thing before I forget, you know, some of the fun of this hobby, a lot of the fun of this hobby, for those of us who really are passionate about marine aquariums and reefing, is, is to see what everybody else does. And a way to make good videos is to just purchase a few simple things. I don't do anything fancy to make these videos. I use my iPhone, and then I just have a couple small, cheap tripods and an LED light. And so I just wanna encourage all of, all of you guys to start making your own videos and chronicle what you're doing because we all learn from each other. So I just wanna show you a few of the items that I use. And if you spend less than $100, you can really up your YouTube video making game and really have some stunning results. So let me show you these items, all right? I'm gonna put links to all the items down below so that you can go ahead, check them out, see if you like them, um, purchase them if, if, if you want to, and really start making your own cool videos as well. Okay, the first one's the newer LED, and it's the light that's right over here. I just look directly at it, it's super bright. It is just about $50, and it comes with quite a bit, so let me show it to you, all right? So here is the light, it's turned on right now. This this changes this little cover here it can be white or it can for, for kind of outdoor light or you can have an orange one that comes for indoor light and then on the back here you have a dial it goes all the way up from 0 to 99 wow it's really bright you hold it down turn it off so on and so forth and then it comes with this battery pack which is really awesome um, it comes with two batteries uh, so you can charge them you can get quite a bit of life out of them and then it just has a standard tripod mount so I just screw it on to this tripod here that I'll show you in a second. Um, and also for that $50, it comes with the case, right? It comes with a really high quality case, which is awesome. And then it comes with the charger, right? And a spare battery, which is gonna be right here. So really for $50, uh, you really can't go wrong here because it's super portable. You can pack everything up right in here and you can take it with you or just leave it at home like I do. And it's a, a really good way to help the lighting because right now you can kind of see, you know, I am being lit naturally here and this side of my face is really dark. But when I turn this back on, oh, I took the battery out. Now what I use for this is I use the Benro tripod. I've used this thing for a couple of years now. Um, it doesn't get the greatest reviews. It gets like four stars on Amazon, but I've taken this around the world to Japan. What I love about it is number one, it's just a selfie stick, right? But it's a selfie stick that's also a tripod. So it's super handy and it comes with um, a, a mount that's meant for your cell phone, but you can also just screw in this light as well. And then I just set it up and I use it. But if, if you really want to, you can also use it you know, as a selfie stick. So it's called the Benro, it's $25. It's help, mine's held up super well. Check out the link below if that's something you're interested in using. All right, uh, lastly is, okay, I'm gonna have to take you off the tripod for this one. 
Okay, the last thing I use is gonna be right here. This one is a super cheap tripod. It's not nearly as nice as the Benro. I might actually buy two Benros, but this is an Archon tripod. It's meant specifically for a large iPhone, right? Really lightweight. These are completely movable. I think this cost, the cost on this one's only $18. So really, I use this for my cell phone, $18. I use the Benro tripod, $25. And then I use the newer LED, the newer LED lights for $50. So for under $100, you really have everything you need. The last thing that I use is this microphone. It's a lapel mic. I'll put a link down below as well. It's super cheap, like $10. I connect it into my iPhone and it seems to work really great. In advance, thanks everybody for checking out my station. Again, subscribe below. The link to matthewsreef.com is below. You can also click the icon right up here to go to Matthews Reef. And if you would like to purchase any of the products that I use for filming my YouTube videos, just check out the description below. They'll link directly to Amazon so you can do that. Happy reefing, everybody, and I'll see you again next week.